most common type of ovarian cancer is high-grade serous carcinoma. And these account for approximately 70% of ovarian cancers. The tumours tend to occur around the 6th and 7th decades. They can arise from the peritoneum and the fallopian tube as well as the ovary. And high-grade serous carcinomas are identical no matter where they arise. However, most arise from the tubal type epithelium in the fimbrial part of the fallopian tube where the precursor lesion is the serous tubal intraepithelial carcinoma. The majority of high grade serous carcinomas have a TP53 gene mutation and in 15% of cases there are BRCA1 or BRCA2 germline mutations. Unfortunately, high-grade serous carcinomas of ovary tend to present late with 80% of patients presenting at stage 3 or stage 4. The CA125 is raised in over 90% of patients. Clinical presenting symptoms include abdominal pain, ascites and distension of the abdomen together with urinary frequency and dysuria and also vaginal bleeding. Risk factors include white ethnicity, a family history of breast or ovarian cancer and infertility. There are however some protective factors. These include multiple pregnancies, breastfeeding, late monarchy and use of the oral contraceptive pill. Grossly high grade serous carcinomas of ovary may be from as little as a few millimetres across to up to around 20 centimetres in diameter. They are typically solid with papillary and cystic areas. The cysts contain serous or bloody fluid and there are areas of haemorrhage and necrosis. Mental metastases are often present. And here is a typical example of a high-grade serous carcinoma of ovary. It has a rather papillary cut surface there are cystic areas and also some solid areas. Histologically, most of these tumours have a papillary architecture. There may be slit-like glandular spaces. There are cribriform areas. The nuclei are pleomorphic and bizarre. There are frequent mitotic figures. Tumour giant cells may be seen and another feature which is quite useful is the presence of somoma bodies. The usual immunoprofile for high-grade serous carcinomas is positivity for P53, WT1, CK7, CAM5.2 and BER-EP4. Here is the typical histological appearance of a high-grade serous carcinoma. And as we move to higher magnifications, you can clearly see the papillary architecture of the tumour. This area shows the cribriform pattern. Cribriform means sieve-like because of all the small holes. A common feature of high-grade serous papillary carcinomas is the presence of somoma bodies and there is a somoma body here at the right side of the picture. And here is a piece of the accompanying omentum showing a deposit of high-grade serous carcinoma.